Hey guys, Amber here. Happy July 1st. Officially halfway through 2019. It's been a crazy beginning to 2019. So I do have to say it's 11.28 p.m. I just want to wash my face, brush my teeth, go to bed. And uh, I was talking to a friend of mine today and I'm like, okay, what if we did 100 straight days of Facebook Live? So you guys might be bored to death with me. Actually, probably won't watch 100 straight days of Facebook Live, but we're gonna go for it. Now, are we actually gonna do it? I don't know, but it's always good to have a goal and see if we can get it done. So we were talking today like, there's many things that are not my thing, right? And maybe those will come up because sometimes it's important to know what you don't want in order to know what you do not, or what you do want, right? So there are many things that are not my thing, but there are a few things that are my thing, right? So uh, we've just been talking, about, my life has been really crazy this year and, and everybody's life is always crazy, right? Um, so it started on February 10th, you guys. So this is where I'm gonna start. It started on February 10th and the series of events that's happened since then, I've been really intentional about the decisions I've made, um, tuning into how and why I'm making the decisions and are they really serving my soul. Okay, so it's February 10th, Jason and I are flying back from an event in Minnesota. I'm on the plane, I don't know what I'm doing, but apparently I'm like, my hands must be somewhere, right? And um, I feel a lump over here, and you guys can probably see it. Sometimes like it's really, oh, you guys can see it right there. Do you see that? That's the first one right there. You guys see that? like I always say of thin skin so you can see like a little right there okay so I see that so I feel a lump over there it's like wow oh, this is interesting right so I'm responsible I get that so I land right we land I was like okay I'll go to the doctor this week Jay it's still February 10th it's a Sunday we land and uh, we get home and my parents were here watching Augie and the dogs and my mom says I'm not sure what's up with Moxie but she threw up like 14 times last night she hasn't eaten today she's not feeling good so February 10th, those are the two things. Lump in the armpit slash upper left breast and dogs thrown up 14 times, not sure why. Well, the series of events that have unfolded you guys in the last five months from those two things, and let's add a few more things to the mix, has um, really like pulled me into presence, right? So some of the things that are going on in your life, all of a sudden you think, oh, breast lump, right? And I love animals, right? My dog's like my baby, just like my little man is my baby. Uh, like some of the things that were going on, all of a sudden kind of, not that they're not important, they just kind of like, it's almost like I don't know what happened to some of them, right? They just kind of like filtered away temporarily. And then what happens is, you know, I was talking to my friend about this, about the dog. What happens is you become so in tune to the needs of the dog and my personal needs at that time because they were two really heightened emotional events. So now there's some decisions that I have to make, both for the dog and for the breasts, right? And over the course of the last five months, it's been interesting and awesome. So I will tell you today that the dog is, we say about 75% healed. You know, there was some sketchy time there. We didn't know that the dog was gonna live. But like I'm making these decisions for the dog, not necessarily in complete alignment with what the vets are recommending. So the question is, how do I know what decisions to make or how do I feel comfortable making decisions although they're not completely in alignment with what the professionals are saying to me? Okay, then I look at the whole breast situation. Definitely, I'm definitely making decisions not in alignment with our traditional medical system and not because I am anti, Healthcare, it's because I'm pro a different kind of healthcare. But the uh, mental battle between not making a decision over here, so choosing not to do something over here, and choosing to do something over here, this is really going against mainstream. I'm not necessarily a mainstream person, right? Um, just has really caused me in the last five months to really step into making decisions in alignment with my intuition that serves my soul. Not that serves the vet, not that serves my doctor, but attempts to serve what it is that my soul is speaking to me. Now, this language is probably like a little like, well, what do you mean your soul is speaking to you? Like, rah, 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 rah. well, no, but you guys know this, right? You get the feeling. The, the point is, can we learn to have the feeling and then can we allow the feeling to guide our decisions, right? So, you guys, the most obvious feeling is, you know, 
you guys are like, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you feel like somebody's following you. Mm, right? There's a feeling. That's some intuition, right? You guys sometimes get the feeling like people feel good and they're fun to hang out with. And then sometimes you get the feeling like, ooh, ah, like energy's not so great. Not sure what it is about that person. Just don't know, don't think I want to hang out with that person anymore, right? That is your intuition talking to you. That's your soul saying like, hey, listen up here. Probably don't want to hang with that person, right? So you guys get it. Um, it's just now how do I tune into that or how do we tune into that, you guys, for the majority of our decisions, you guys, throughout our life. So I'll talk about that in the next 100 days if I really make it 100 days, you guys. But what I'm going to say today is this is the most recent one, is Jason and I are thinking of moving. Love the house. We find a house. It's a great house. But you guys, I'm sitting in the house that we also love and remodeled and this is great as well. So we decide to make a, an offer, right? But then we really don't move forward to make an offer. So I'm like, okay, the other night, it's like Thursday night, so maybe five nights ago, I was like, so are we gonna make an offer on the house? He's like, yeah. I go, okay. He goes, do you want to? I go, yeah. And then I go, well, what are we waiting for? He goes, um, I, I don't know, fear? Which it always is, right? So being indecisive is also making a decision. Not making a decision is also making a decision. So we're making a decision to not make a decision. Oh, and that is like, oh my gosh. It's not a place that Jason and I enjoy being. I'm like, either just decide to do it or decide not to do it. I don't love to sit in indecision too long unless, sometimes I say, sit Buddha, sit. Sometimes we're just meant to sit, right? And this house thing right now is a little bit like, let's just sit. But we did identify it. I go, okay, what do we fear? He's like, we fear, and then we come up with two house payments. I'm like, I do not want two house payments. There is nothing about me that wants two house payments. And I'm like, what if our house doesn't sell? And we buy that one, and then this one doesn't sell. So we want, we just, then, we, then we're like, oh, we got something. Okay, we know what we fear. So that's the question is, if I'm not making a decision, what do I fear, right? And then at least if you can acknowledge that there is something that you might fear, then you can have a conversation or identify as this a pattern or work through you know, is there a way that we could not have two house payments? Is there that we could offer contingent? Well, okay, then we don't have as much buying power. Okay, so if we don't have as much buying power, would we rather pay more and offer contingent? Or what's they? maybe they say no. So then we just go through these scenarios. Like, can we live with this scenario? Can we not live with this scenario? But that is the most recent one we've gone through, which is like, do we offer in the house or not? Okay, we're gonna offer. What do we fear? Okay, we fear two house payments. Okay, what's the checklist items like so that we don't have to have two house payments? And then from there, you guys, we're like, if it's downstream, we're gonna move forward. And if it's really an uphill battle, then that's just the universe and our soul saying too much work. So, all right, there's the intuition of the day, the dog, the breast, more to come on that. There's probably more to come on the house as well, right? Because we still haven't made an offer. All right. July 1st, it's day one. I'll be back tomorrow.